Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be creating dark rooms for our doors game. So, some rooms will be randomly chosen to be dark or lights out. Some are gonna have the lights on. And, and in the next episode, we're gonna be adding screech to this, but this is just setting up the rooms so it's actually dark. And then we can add on from there. So the first thing we should create is the lights in all of our rooms so I'm gonna go into replicate storage and I'm gonna drag the set rooms folder to workspace so I can modify it and well right now you can see that it's light or like it's lit up in all of the rooms because there's no roof and well the sun is shining down inside so something we should create is roofs for each one of our rooms so it'll be darker inside so I'm just gonna get whichever part is the floor. I'm just gonna copy and paste it and put it at the top since it's going to be the same size. Which as you can see, it's already a little bit darker in here. So I'm gonna do the same thing for this room as well. And the same thing with the spawn room or the room that's always gonna be there. Let's start, you can just pick that and find wherever the other floor piece is. Oh, that's a wall and I might change the name of the floor pieces so it's easier to find in the future since we might be doing something with that later on I'm gonna rename this to floor I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this and make sure that cast shadow is on for the roof pieces because if you don't as you can see it doesn't make it any darker since there's no shadow being casted onto the ground so we'll make sure that's on for each part on the roof and then we'll rename this part to roof and i guess i'm just going to copy paste this and slide this over i didn't mean to do that and then scale it which now it should be darker in this room and then for the last room which is room three again look for the floor and for the special room, since that room is going to be like, I guess, personalized, you won't have, you can like set it's, we're not going to do anything to change whether or not it's dark or not through a script. You can just make it preset that way. But if you want, I'll show how to make it randomized on darkness. Or I'll explain it when we get to the scripting. So as you can see, now the rooms are all dark since they have a roof and something to cast a shadow inside. And now to create a light for these rooms. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a cylinder by pressing the part tool. And then we're going to make the cylinder flat. I'm just going to make it a little bit larger. And I guess I'll make it like a dark orange or I'll keep it as a yellow. So inside of this part, you want to go to the part in the explorer, hit the plus, and then you want to insert a light. So this can be a point light, spotlight, a surface light, but I'm going to put in a point light. And then you can modify the range and how bright you want this light to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the starting room a little bit more backwards. I have to take the spawn with it. And with this light, you can move it to where you want inside of the room to see how light it'll be. And then modify its range. So I'm just gonna try 15. This will make it a little brighter. Maybe not too bright. Let's see, how about 25? I guess 25 is good enough. So then we can put this part. I'm gonna rename this part to light so it'll be easier for us to change. So now we can put light in room one and then I'm just going to copy and paste it. I'm going to actually center this. I'm going to copy and paste the light and then I'll put two inside of room two. Since room two is a little bit bigger than the other room. Actually, I'm going to put three one right here, one near the ending and then one centered over here. Just like that. So now, as you can see, the room is a little bit brighter. And then for room three, you can do the same thing. Just a repeated process. Oh, I'm gonna put one room in, or one light in each little room or section that is in this room. Just like so. 
so move for the start so now the rooms are lit up so by default it's going to be lit up like this but when we generate the room we're going to decide whether or not we want it to be dark or not so we can go ahead and put the set rooms into replicated storage and if we test this out there should be lights in each room and a roof which is what we need and we should add a roof to the starting door well, let's just walk through here as you can see a light lights up the room go and get our key we can go ahead and open this door. Oh, we forgot to anchor the lights. So I'm just going to do that real quick. So they don't fall on the ground. You know. Open these. Select all the lights. And make sure they're all anchored. Alright. And then I'm just going to add a quick roof to the starting door as be best. Did I put the floor into the... Uh, I did not do a good job at naming all this stuff. And I probably put the floor as a wall. Let's see here. Yep. Could this be it or is this that wall? Let's see. There we go. I'm just going to copy this. Move it up to the top. I'm just gonna scale this along here so now this will be darker and I'm just gonna make the first room lit up since it is the first room and I don't think it should be dark but that's up to you I'm gonna put this inside I'm gonna put one in the main room and one inside of the little elevator box and now we can get to setting the if a room is dark or not and we should add a bool value so go to your rooms so room one and then hit the plus and insert a bool value and i'm just going to name this bool value dark so if this is true then we're going to make it so screech can appear and if it's not then screech will not be able to appear but we'll be setting that up in the next episode so just have dark in each one of your rooms and now we should be done with our rooms for now so now we can go to service script service and open a generate room script and now here's where you want to decide how often you want or how rare it is for a room to become dark so what i'm going to do is local we're going to be picking a random number so let's just name this local dark room number equals math.random and I'm going to do a minimum of one and now you can increase this by how much or what the chance you want for the room to be dark I'm going to make numbers one and two so one and two is going to be equal to a dark room and then any other number will be a light room so one in so it's going to be a two in let's say 20% chance so, two, so it's gonna be a 10% chance that the room is going to be dark so over here we can add an if statement so all this is doing is making a variable and getting a random number from the minimum number so the smallest number it can pick from is 1 and the greatest number it can pick from is 20 so it can be something like 18 15 10 anything between these two numbers so now we're going to do an if statement to check this number. So if dark room number is less than or equal to 2, since my minimum number is going to be 2. So 1 and 2 is going to count as a dark room. So if it's 2 or if it's 1 or even 0, then we're going to go to our new room. And then actually we're going to loop through our new room. So for I be in pairs, new room get children do so if dark room is one or two we're going to loop through all of the contents of the new room so we're going to be getting the children of new room which the children of the room let's say it's room one is everything that is inside of room one so these are like the contents this is the child and this is the parent since this is what the part is inside of so we're going to get all of the children, which is everything inside of the room. 
and then we're gonna check the name of the part so if v so v is the thing we're on so let's say it's looping through everything and right now it's gone through one two and let's say it's on door door is what v is going to be equivalent to and if this so we're gonna do if v dot name equals equals light then so it's gonna keep going down until it reaches something named light so if the value is light or if the name of it is light then we're gonna do something to it so we're going to go v wait for child point light as everything named light inside of our room one should have a point light and then we're just going to change the property of the point light from enabled to from tr enabled true to enabled false so wait for child point light dot enabled equals false so it's going to loop through everything inside of room one if something has the name light then we're going to go into the contents of light and we're going to get the point light inside of it and we're going to set this enabled to false so it becomes dark now you can do the same thing over here with special room if you want to randomize the brightness of that but i won't be doing that so i'm going to actually go ahead and put a roof and a light for the special room since that should be necessary so let's just go ahead and get this big platform up oh, this time I actually named it and I didn't look at the names well wow. we have this room here and then I'm just gonna take a light put it in room 15 move it somewhat like this place it on the top let's see here yep. I'm actually gonna put two one near the entrance or the door and I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna put this over here or it might actually format this slightly differently put these two over here and then put two more on the other side just so it's a little bit brighter and then we're gonna put special rooms back into replicate storage so now I'm going to publish the game or save to Roblox so just in case anything crashes or anything goes wrong it'll be saved at this point and a little bug is going on where the game doesn't load so I'm just going to reopen the game and hope that it doesn't load this time. Yeah, I'm not sure why this bug occurs, but you just got to deal with it and go retest the game. So the game's loading up. The room should be generating. So now we have our roof. So let's open our elevator and now let's stroll through our rooms. So this room is bright. And let's see here. Oh. A locked room, so gotta get the key. So we're just gonna have to go through a few doors, or we could increase our chances of a room being dark so we can see it more easily. Since if you just increase or decrease the maximum number in that math.random, as you can see, the lights are off in this room, but the lights are on over here. So we could probably keep going and try and find another dark room. You could make it darker if you want. But I'm just going to keep it at that brightness for now. Once we change up our lighting and our atmosphere and stuff like that, it will become darker. So let's just keep going through all of these. See if we can find another dark room. If that's going to be the only one out of all of these. Get the key. And soon we're going to be adding animations to these doors. As you can see, you just run into the door and it disappears. The door doesn't open or anything. And for these doors, the door number also stays there. It doesn't go away, which it should go away as well. So we'll clean some animations up later. But for now, we're just going to get the base game set up. Now door 14 and only one dark room. You can check through all of the rooms to see which ones. And we should make the bool value called dark be set to, or let me check this, point light. Yeah. Oh, wait, this is this room. We should be able to set the dark bool value to true if the door is dark. Oh, well, there's no wall for this room. But, let's see here. 
So we're just gonna keep going through the doors. I'm actually gonna increase my walk speed just so the process is a little quicker and we don't have to spend so long walking through all these doors. Don't know why I didn't do that in the first place, but let's see. It is a 10% chance that the door is dark. It's a bit low chance, but still a chance. We got two keys. We'll also fix that. See, we can skip getting the key here since we got two keys in the previous door and we don't really want that to happen. We would like to only be able to get one key from this and then open the door. Oh, here is a dark room. As you can see, all of the lights are out in this room, but over here, it's all lit up. So you'll be able to get some dark rooms just like that. So now we're going to set this bool value from true to false or no from false to true if it is dark. So let's just add that in. So we could just go to generate rooms and in our for loop for our new room we're just going to do another if statement. So if v.name actually we don't have to put this inside of our for loop if dark room number is less than or equal to two then new room and then we're gonna wait for child dark so waiting for child make sure that this is fully loaded in because it's waiting for the child to be added or a child named dark to be added to room one before trying to change anything to it since if dark didn't exist and we tried to change its value to true, well, it won't be there. So we can't really change anything or there won't be anything called dark there. So we're going to do wait for child dark dot value equals true. So if the room, if we're turning off the lights in that room, then we're going to make sure that that dark value is set to true. So then we can check if it is later on and do stuff with a screech entity. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, see ya.